We're just about to the point now where we can go ahead and get on this young horse and see how she's going to react when we go to ride off. But before we do that, we want to make sure that she's listening to us by giving her head one way or the other and breaking at the pole. The way we're going to reinforce this at this time is by using the saddle and using the bow saddle that we're going to ride her with and tie her head to the left and tie her head to the right and then tie her head back. You can do this in a stall or you can do it in a round pen, just someplace where she has a confined area where once you get her tied up, you can unsnap your lead shank back off and see how she's gonna react. We're gonna tie her head up to her left side the first time, so I'm gonna move over here to her right, take this right rein, and I'm just gonna very loosely tie it to the saddle horn where I have a lot of slack in the rein. I'm going to come back over to this side and I'm going to take this rein here and I'm going to tie it to the stirrup which will act as weight to pull her head down and bring it to this side of her body. The reason I tie it to the stirrup is in case she fights it some she'll be able to pull that stirrup up but there'll still be the weight of this stirrup pulling her head to this side. I'm going to unsnap the lead rope and then back up off of her. And what we'd like for her to do is stand with her head turned like this. She may walk in a circle for a little bit when she's first getting used to it. But we want her to stand with her head turned where she has some slack in this rein and she's, and she's not pulling against it and fighting it. That she wants to go ahead and move her head on over and flex in that direction. When you start this with a young horse for the first time, make sure that you don't overdo it. Leave her head turned one direction, oh, maybe two or three minutes at first, and then come back and do it some more. You see there, she kind of turned her head a little bit, and then the weight of the stirrup brought it back around. She's walking around some, which the weight of the stirrup is making her turn there uh, to her left side. And that's what we want her to do. We want to give to that pressure and come around to the left side. They may try to put their nose down and see what's on the ground if it's a new area for them. But they should flex and give their head to the left. She's doing it pretty good. You see she tried to come to the right there. The weight of the stirrup brought her back around to the left. And she's doing a pretty good job flexing and going that direction. Again, when you first start it, don't leave them tied up for very long because those neck muscles are not used to doing this. They may fight it more than this filly's fighting it at first. But again, build each day. Maybe do it for one or two minutes, then the next day do it for five. Work up to where they can stand with their head turned for about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go back on into this filly Oh, Philly, I'm going to speak to her to let her know that I'm coming up to her. I'm going to approach her on the side that I have her head turned to. Go ahead and untie the stirrup so that you have that rein loose. And then lead them back out to where you want them to be. We're going to lead her back out here and tie her head back the other direction. Again, all you do is reverse what you've done before. Tie the off rein very, with a lot of slack to the rein, to the saddle horn. Again, coming around. And tying this rein to the stirrup. Pull around so her head's turned. So you have some bend in her neck and tie it. Want to have a little curve to her neck here, but we don't want to overdo it at first. As this mare gets a little more used to doing this, we may pull her head a little bit further around uh, during this process. Easiest way to do it to tie it is just make a couple of half hitches there. Very easy to do. They're usually not going to fight enough that it's going to come untied. Again, this direction, unsnap the lead shank, back off quietly, and see what the horse is going to do. See again, she kind of wanders around a little bit. 
and she should circle the direction that you have her head tied to. And you can see that she's doing that, keeping her head flexed, coming on around. Not a lot of tension up through her head. You can see her ears are very relaxed. She's very relaxed about her jaw and through her throat latch. 